Human hearing is nonlinear. Human hearing is highly nonlinear. In order to double the perceived intensity of a sound, the actual sound power must be multiplied by a factor of 10. Relating telephone signal power loss in terms of the logarithmic bell scale makes perfect sense in this context. A power loss of one bell translates to a perceived sound loss of 50% or one half. A power gain of one bell translates to a doubling in the perceived intensity of the sound. Using the bell to express system gains and losses. Another reason for the adoption of the bell as a unit for gain is for simple expression of system gains and losses. Consider the last system example where two amplifiers were connected tandem to amplify a signal. The respective gain for each amplifier was expressed as a ratio, and the overall gain for the system was the product off of those two ratios. If these figures represented power gains, we could directly apply the unit of bells to the task of representing the gain of each amplifier and of the system altogether. Close inspection of these gain figures in the unit of bell yields a discovery. They're additive. Ratio gain figures are multiplicative for stage amplifiers, but gains expressed in bells add rather than multiply to equal the overall system gain. The first amplifier with its power gain of 0.477B adds to the second amplifier's power gain of 0.699B to make a system with an overall power gain of 1.176B. Gains using decibels. Recalculating for decibels rather than bells, we notice the same phenomenon. To those already familiar with the arithmetic properties of logarithms, this is no surprise. It is an elementary rule of algebra that the antilogarithm of the sum of two numbers' logarithm values equals the product of the two original numbers. In other words, if we take two numbers and determine the logarithm of each, then add those two logarithm figures together, then determine the antilogarithm of that sum, elevate the base number of the logarithm, in this case, 10, to the power of that sum, the result will be the same as if we had simply multiplied the two original numbers together.